work, more concentration. I do it before dinner because at that point I'm less exhausted. So I think economics really fits this particular time slot for me. This is when I study on my uh, study table because at this point I've just started studying. No music this time because it distracts my concentration. I don't really think it helps me much. And then I simply go ahead and study. So basically how I study exactly if you guys want to know. I just first of all um, pick a chapter and then the first thing I do is like just turn the pages without reading anything going through all the topics the titles and the sub titles wait what subtopics topics and the subtopics the first step is obviously familiarize yourself with the entire chapter once you know what the content of the chapter is now you can move to the actual reading of the chapter second step is going through the questions given at the back of the book so when you're reading the chapter you know what you have to look for and then third step is finally to actually go ahead and read it and yeah just go ahead make a quick reading even if you don't understand anything it's fine just like make a quick reading of the whole chapter so as you go to a higher class you realize that the chapter's length keeps on increasing so much so it's not really possible to do such a long chapter for me personally in my history psychology the chapters are too long i can't do them in one sitting so what i do is i study half of the chapter today and half of the chapter tomorrow after you've fully done the whole thing now you are actually familiar with everything and now it's time for the final reading and this time go slowly and you know properly read everything line by line now if you don't understand anything um, ask someone you can look up on the internet and after you've done that reading of the chapter now you can finally move on to the question and answer so maintain a notes or you can buy some um, question paper books and those question bags are given along with the answers itself so that really helps me out yeah that's just how i study you can try it out another thing i like to do is study through youtube youtube is such a resourceful place for guys to look for content like there's literally a channel on every topic you want so you just have to do some research and you have to find a channel that works best for you i did that and i have picked out certain channels on youtube now around this time my brother also studies at the same time so if he has like doubts or something in between he comes and asks me like especially in maths he usually has his doubts in maths and i like happily help him out this is in class 10th right now and i was ready past 10th so i am able to give him a little bit of my guidance you can say oh yeah by the way i just wanted to share with you guys that lux is going to be participating in this really cool maths olympiad coming up really soon it's called tuco and it's being organized by qmat in association with the times of india so it stands for the ultimate qmat olympiad which is india's largest online maths olympiad and students from class 1 to 10th can participate in this and lux is going to be participating in that and i would encourage you guys to do the same right yeah and more than 2.5 lakh students from 300 different schools from across the country will be participating and the cash reward for this is going to be up to 50 lakh rupees and you guys are going to get certificates as well as recognition so it's totally worth participating so you guys are going to be getting competitive assessment of your math skills and ability as well as recognition and certificates so by registering for qco you guys can access the preparatory course which is designed by graduates from iit and cambridge universities so if you guys are interested in participating in this olympia then all you have to do is go to their website and there you have to sign up giving all your personal details and then you have to register by giving just rupees 200 next up you guys are also going to get many mock tests and practice tests so all your practices are going to be in there itself and then there's going to be the qualification round which is an online based exam which means that you guys don't even have to go outside your home everything is going to be right from your house and then finally there will be the final round in which the shortlisted candidates will be participating so yeah that's all about this um maths olympiad if you guys are interested like he is participating you guys should definitely try it out as well it's upcoming really soon so make sure to go and register yourself all the details and the link will be in the description box that is basically my second study session where i actually said something now i have dinner and the next study session is after dinner so what i do is i just lie down on my bed and um, you know just read through something now this is the time when i actually like to study history or english and you just have to read through it's kind of like a story yeah that's the word a story book so it's kind of like a story book and yes so for today i decided to go for history i just lie down on my bed like that and study in weird poses <laughs> which of course i'm not going to add in the video but everybody has the unique poses that i like to sit with in which they are comfortable and they can find their maximum concentration so that happens with me too let me know if you guys do the same just tell me i'm not the only one so i just sit on my bed and 
study in there and there's nothing much to explain in that actually the same process of studying and study as much as i possibly can and once i start feeling sleepy which happens really soon because when you're lying on bed you just start feeling sleepy really soon and also i'm exhausted out of that so i think within an hour or something i start feeling sleepy and then i go to sleep and then i follow the same process the very next day and that's basically how it keeps on going um yeah it was it was a really rough kind of a plan i don't know uh, i tried to get it across as efficiently as effectively as i possibly could but i just told the truth guys i really don't have a very fancy routine of studying this is what my actual routine is so that's it for today's video guys that was my study routine a really plain simple study routine so that brings us to the end of the video if you guys are new to my channel make sure to subscribe and you can follow me on instagram and uh, link will be in the description hit the thumbs up if you like the video and i'll see you guys next time bye